channel. Ooh, this is a request and a half, okay? And it's a little bit long overdue, my bad. <laughs> I did a closet tour when we first moved into this apartment in August of last year, but so much has changed. We actually like put time and effort into it now and everything looks pretty, pretty nice, I would say. So I wanted to share it with you guys and give you even an idea of how to store your activewear. I am not a professional, but I did hire an interior designer named Bay. He honestly has a better eye for design than I do. So he actually took this into his own hands and then I might have just put some finishing touches on it. Cause when I walk into a mess girl, which is usually what my closet looks like, I gotta turn back around and just head out the door. I ain't got time for that. My head don't work. So insert picture of what it did look like. Hot mess up in here. I don't wanna think about it, dude. I'm getting anxiety thinking about it. Enough chit chat. If you are not already, definitely hit that subscribe button. Follow your girl on IG for all things fitness. Cause together we got this baby. Now let's go check it out, girl. Mm -hmm. Come on over, baby. <laughs> oh! <laughs> and did I mention this is literally only activewear? I don't have a single speck of actual clothing in here. That goes in some dresser I don't care about in the rest of the bedroom. But this here is dedicated to my prized possessions. So come on. Come on in, all right? Join the party. This is what we got going on here. So I took your suggestion from the last time when I did closet tour. You guys were so right, dude. The active wear sets, the matching sets look so good hung like this. The legging and the sports bra together. So as you can see, when you first walk in, I got my favorites. So you got hyper amplify leggings, baby. Ooh, just to brighten it up when you first step in, girl, I want this whole place to give an aura. I need it to, to, to smack me in the face and get me ready for the day. I need it to say, girl, you came to the right place. This is where you want to be in life. So yeah, hyper amplify to amp me up. Then of course we got the adapt animal all adapt. We got camo and it goes right into the marl. So then we got the whole adapt that leads right into my baby vital seamless right here. We got all our vital seamless ending with the vital rise. Got the new vital in front. Yes, because this is what I've been grabbing the most because I'm so freaking excited over these colors. My favorites, the ones I pretty much always tend to grab every single day right here. And it looks like a bag of Skittles and it just makes me so happy just to share with you guys how I did it. Okay, you just fold over the legging like this. I always have the logo facing. Don't know why, all right? It's, it's an anal thing here. And then you just kind of put this sports bra right over, over top. It looks really put together, I would say. This is kind of like prime grab and go if it's a matchy match kind of day. But if I just want leggings, then it's just like, okay. <laughs> Don't do that. You might ruin your leggings. Don't listen to me. Moving on here, we have all of our long sleeve crops for the gym. So we got Hyper Amplify, we got a training piece up in here, then we have our Vital Seamless colors. Ooh. And it goes right into some flex back here, some flex long sleeves. Oh. Something that I felt was very freaking important is not to be overwhelmed with clothing. So I wanted to make sure there's some gaps, some spaces in between to breathe a little bit. Cause sometimes it can make you feel like you'd be caved in, like avalanche. So I needed some space in between. And you know what? A pop of green because green is life. And it just makes me feel like I could breathe better even though it's fake. So it really doesn't produce any oxygen. But you know what? Just gotta pretend. So what I did was I broke up the long sleeve since I have so many of them because of where I live, it's freaking freezing all the time. Broke it up in half. So half is here. The other half is on this side over here. I wanted to kind of mimic the look of a store, I guess, when you go in to go shopping. It's not all cluttered and, and distressed looking. There's some space in between, some breakups. So yeah, we got my beloved Whitney, obviously. Whitney long sleeves here. We got a random one and only shrug I own. Now we have all of the adapt marl here, long sleeves, and adapt ombres as well. 
And now we're moving on to like the old school flex that I have from last year, the year before. We got a few camo long sleeves as well. And this fleur, you remember that guys? You remember the fleur? Yeah, I still got that one going on too. So guys, there's a trend going on here. And I think you know me by now, clear as day. Everything you've seen so far is Gymshark. I know you're not surprised. It's just how it is, man. These are my prized possessions. When I stumbled upon Gymshark two years ago, I've been sold ever since. There's no, there's no shame in that game, okay? You love what you love, don't you? Okay, so down here, we got this like shelf space. I needed this place to look super balanced, so we wanted to spread it out down here. We have full sets as well hung up. All energy plus seamless sets are right here. I don't grab them as much as I do with other ones. So that's why they're going on here. Sawi. We have our like low and mid rise flex sets going on here. Random leggings as well. But for the most part, they are all full sets. Random flex sports bras with no matching leggings. And then we have our high rise flexes over here with some sports bras. You know, I try to keep it all by collection. We also have our ombre leggings down here. Yes. I don't know why they're down here and not up there. Why? Why are they not with my prize possession? <laughs> we got some Breeze Lightweight and some studio pieces as well here. New and old studio. And then moving on here, we have all of the Whitney. Oh, my babies, my Whitney right here. All of the glory that is Whitney. Oh. So over here, we have just random lightweight long sleeves. We have Vital Zip Ups, Pulse, Energy Plus Seamless. Uh, what else do we got going on here? We got Breeze Lightweight, Speed, Venture, you name it. Like all that lightweight long sleeves that I just gotta put on when I need to be a little bit conservative in Northern New Jersey for crying out loud. So what we got going on up top, just to break up all that active wear. This was Bay's idea. Props to you, Bay. Bought this baby at TJ Maxx because it was on clearance. And I knew, I said, there ain't gonna be no spot to put this, bro. It's too heavy to hang on a wall. Where are we gonna put this? And then he said, put it right up here. And it just opens it up. All right, this is a small space. And now, you can catch your breath with this. These plaques, Bay made me. We got an Instagram and a YouTube together. We got this baby plaques. I absolutely love them. These were my Christmas gifts and they're so meaningful to me. This is just like a business that Bay and I started together and I don't know, every day I'm more and more proud of it. Don't cry, just don't do it now. Woo, this is a Dollar Tree. Dollar Tree, at sign. It came in gold and white. I don't know where the white one go. I don't even know where that one is, but the gold really just, I like white and gold. I got my old school Gymshark Legacy Fitness duffel over here. It's my first Gymshark bag ever. And I was like, dang, they got great accessories. So speaking of accessories, I got some more Gymshark bags as well. This is like their lifestyle essential hold all bag that I love to put my yoga mat in. And I even got their little, little baby lifestyle holder bag, little backpack. So now let's work our way down these little drawer shelvings that you see here are from Amazon, dude. They're awesome and they were super inexpensive. It's like wood on top, metal frame. And then you got like this like khaki drawer. So it's really dope. We mostly have our like Gymshark pieces, lots of shorts and smaller pieces in here and a bunch of miscellaneous, right? You know I collect my activewear. So you're gonna see a bunch of Amazon pieces. I mean, we got 90 Degree by Reflex, Yogalicious, Buff Bunny, crap, and a ton of Amazon, <laughs> put it that way. So Bay even color coordinated. These are all solid pieces. We have InnoSups right here. We got Bootyful. We got Lakito. This is a lot of yoga based type of leggings. So here are our solids. We got more solids down here. We got Lakito and some random like Forever 21 sports bras. This is my I want to get frisky and add it drawer where I'm just feeling like a different woman for the day and I got to explore some different patterns. This is my satisfying drawer. And then lastly, these are just funky donkey graphic tops that I like to put over my set sometimes when I just need to express myself. 
This is all Gymshark sports bras, loads of training. We got chalk, speed. Over here, we have random t-shirts, man. I got so many, like the t-shirts, dude. You can spot some chalk, some new speed, lots of it, man. Graphics, you name it. This is all just grab and go t-shirts. This drawer is just basic training leggings. And then these are the kinds of sets that I don't use all the time. A lot of older Fleur sets. We have a lot of the fits here and mostly like pulse and chalk type of leggings. So that, these I don't use as much. So they kind of just stay here, just folded up in the drawer. In this third dresser, we got nothing but loose fit shorts. Mind you, pretty much all this is Gymshark. <laughs> We're still out on the gym shark right now. Loose fit shorts. Not so loose fit shorts, baby. We're looking at them tighties. Nice and tight when you in the mood. That tight fit. I mean, we got hyper amplified. We got the bright Whitney shorts. We have the ultra seamless, some training, tighter training fit shorts. Uh, yeah, a lot of flex going on here. You can't look in here. Those are my seamless panties, okay? You can't look in there, that's private. By the way, I get a lot of questions about what to wear under leggings. If I'm being completely and utterly honest with you right now, girl, I don't wear anything under my leggings. <laughs> if you judged me and clicked off right now, I mean, <sighs> my bad. But straight up, like, I don't like wearing underwear underneath. I don't like it at all. I don't like feeling anything underneath. I just wanna be one with my legging, thank you very much. But on those rare times of the month, you know, here and there, we need to wear underwear. So uh, I do wear like seamless. Victoria's Secret, Gymshark has a bunch of seamless, things like that, okay? Nude, go for the nude color every time. Okay, and then lastly, these are just like random non-seamed leggings. <laughs> Uh, I'm pretty sure these are all Gymshark. We got Speed, we have Venture, some Pulse, and the Exo. So not so sought after in my opinion. Not something I would grab on the daily, if you know what I mean. And I know I'm gonna get some questions on how to like properly fold them in the drawers just to kind of maximize your space. I actually saw this method on Gymshark's TikTok, actually, I came across it. So this is why I got this space, so I can fold my leggings real nice. So here's what we do. And then just take it from either side and just fold it in like that, okay? Then you're gonna fold it yet again over and then again, boom, like that. So that they're really nice and compact. And then you just kind of pop it right in there and it takes up very little space. Over here, I got this cubicle right here from Target. Target. So right now, this whole shelf is dedicated to just Able and a little bit of miscellaneous leggings on the bottom. I got a lot of the miscellaneous going on. This whole section is Pulse, Core, their Ombre, their new camo. We got all that, including their shorts and long sleeves as well. So this whole thing is pretty much, in a nutshell, my Able collection. This is a squat box and I like to keep it in here. Um, Honestly, so I could reach things. <laughs> I'm pretty short. So the squat box works perfectly if I have stuff stowed away up overhead here. I usually keep it clean, but sometimes I just store random shiz up there and I need to get it, so. And also, you know what? It's great to put shoes on, right? I can take a seat. No, I don't use it for that. All right, let's go. So behind the door, dang, dude, I shed like a mofo. So behind this door, we got a built-in, the apartment came with these built-in shelves here. This is where we hide our bulky shiz. So we got nothing but big, like oversized hoodies. Pretty sure, yeah, this is all Gymshark as well. All right, I'm gonna be honest with you. I just realized 95% of my entire active wear collection is in fact Gymshark. And the scariest part of it all is before we moved here into this apartment, I did a big clean out. So I got rid of a lot, and this is what I'm still left with. So, um, dang, I think I got a problem. <laughs> Oops. So this is all the big bulky hoodies. We got bulky, like thicker type of joggers up here. This is where my warm stuff is. When I want to be toasty and cozy and warm. On this shelf here, we got more lightweight cozy. So we're got like 
the paws. We got Pippa, which I'm wearing right now. Hey, girl, you see this new light green? I'm a light green fiend. I love it. So yeah, we got a bunch of lightweights. The old slounge that y'all are always asking about, dude. You remember that? Bring it back, Gymshark. And then over here, we have this like metallic mirror, tin foil looking backpack. <laughs> it's Adidas. Um, I was gifted this from a dope brand called Color Wow. And they actually specialize in hair products, which is crazy because they sent me like a really cute gift bag is adidas with like resistance bands and things in it so kind of them and hair products of course but like i thought it was nice because it's freaking adidas and it's got my little tag on it it's got my little instagram handle so hit home a little bit i was like oh shit i said thank you dude like that was totally unexpected here's where the um training cropped hoodies are okay so now as you can see we went from real cozy to lightweight cozy to now showing a little tum tum okay now we're getting a little risque down here you notice how this is like easy access arms reach right here it's because i use these the most all right i love my training crop sweaters know that know that pretty much this is all training we got a legacy uh this is a training with a hood and this is my whitney hoodie cropped so yeah cropped hoodies over here does a gal need a scrunchy color for every single active wear set think about that does she yeah man yeah she does because i don't know about you but i need shiz matching from time to time make me feel like my life is put together even though it's not i got like a hundred scrunchies on Amazon for less than 10 bucks. Just so you know, you don't gotta be rich to have a bunch of scrunchies. They don't have to be overpriced, like the kind you find, like $4 per one scrunchie in stores sometimes. You don't need to do that, no. And this woven basket, if you will, was from, uh, where the frick was it from? No, I can't think of the name, hold up. That place we used to go because it was mad cheap. Primark! Got it at Primark. Primark! All right, then over here, we have our beanies. Yeah, Gymshark. <laughs> My newest addition. I got some Gymshark glow. These are actually freaking awesome because they're so lightweight, wicking, and it's great for me. It's got a grip on here. It's got uh, right on the fingers here. You can, you're, it's got like that ability to touch cell phones and be able to scroll on Instagram and what you got to do on your phone through these gloves. So this is very versatile. All right, so down here we have a couple of these like really large bins from Target. This is basically holding all my socks, dude. I got a lot of socks. Over here, these are like the, the new actually. This we got the new color burst here we got the slice shorts lots of gymshark like crops here and a lot of more of the rugged material something that you know a lot of cottony based so that it traps heat these are very sweater based so it goes with all my comfy cozies this is a chalk <laughs> pr that i received in the mail from gymshark and uh it was awesome the way they did it it was stuffed with chalk hoodies and stuff. How they managed to get it in here, I will never in the life of me know. But it was cool when you were pulling more and more out and you're like, what? Like a freaking circus car. That's what she said. <laughs> and then underneath here, lastly, we have our sneakers. I'm trying to add more to my collection, but I'm so freaking picky when it comes to sneakers. Like I can never find ones that I'm in love with. There's always something that about it that I'm just like, I don't know if I like that. So yeah, so here's my little sneakers. Most of them don't leave the house like these. And you ask me how I keep my whites white, these don't leave the house. They're just for show. All right guys, so that was it. That was the full closet tour. I got a lot going on in here, I know, but I tried to do the best I could with the space I had. So comment down below if you have any questions or better yet, if you have any suggestions, something that you might do that works really well, let me know, girl. Thank you all so much for watching and definitely don't forget to hit that subscribe button Follow your girl on Instagram as well for all things fitness and I'll see you in my next video.